House Bill 153 is the expert witness tort reform legislation. Uh, we have heard this bill the previous three sessions here in this chamber, and last year it was truly agreed to and finally passed, but was vetoed by the governor. Uh, currently, Missouri uses what is known as the old standard that has been around since 1989, and because of U.S. Supreme Court case Daubert v. Merrill Dow in 93, the courts modified the federal rules of evidence regarding the miscibility of expert testimony. Uh, since the Daubert decision, 42 states have now codified the new standard into their state statutes. Missouri would become the 43rd state. The question House Bill 153 is answering is this. How do we know if an expert witness is truly an expert and then if the information he or she testifies to, to be reliable? It is important to note Adopting the Daubert standard would empower Missouri judges to act as gatekeepers by closely examining expert testimony that plaintiffs and defendants seek to present in court. Addressing admissibility of evidence prior to trial while requiring a little initial investment of time will help avoid fights at trial over expert evidence, wasting jury time with cases lacking scientific merit and needless litigation. The judge could decide to have a hearing to determine if a particular witness should be allowed to testify, or the judge could make that determination on his or her own. Ultimately, Mr. President, it is the judge's decision. Specifically, studies have found that under Daubert, plaintiffs are discouraged from filing weak cases, and courts dismiss early when they lack sufficient support, and parties are more apt to settle cases when expert testimony survives the Daubert scrutiny. We have now worked on this legislation for over three years, honoring the negotiations that have taken place over the years in this chamber and other chamber, including this year, the, the bill, this bill exempts all non-jury trials from Daubert, meaning the old current standard would still apply. There is one difference from the bill before us from the legislation this body passed last year. One difference is the House added on the floor an amendment to exempt all non-jury trials from the new Daubert standard. This amendment passed with 153 votes in the House. When the Senate passed the bill last year, most non-jury trials were exempted, but not all of them, for example, workman's comp was not exempted at that time. House Bill 153 passed the House recently by a vote of 106 to 51. Last year, the bill passed with only 85 votes. With the changes in discussions and negotiations this past year, the bill picked up another 21 votes in the House. In closing, Mr. President, by adopting the Daubert Standard, Missouri would be requiring the courts to conduct a more in-depth analysis of the testimony and science being presented by witnesses who offer themselves up as an expert. The current statute is rudimentary and can allow junk science testimony to be admitted and then have the jury sort out the weight of the facts and opinions that are being presented to them. House Bill 153, by its passage and by signing into law, will make it the 43rd state, Missouri, the 43rd state, to adopt the Daubert Standard, help the structure of the trial, and reduce error in courts.